look what we're making today. A super cute and easy pop-up birthday cake or wedding cake or celebration cake card. It's really easy, really fun. You can decorate it using lovely paper or hand decorate it with pens or washi tape or things like that. And they're really easy to make. So come on, let's take a look and see how this card is made. So we will need some um, card stock. So this is a five folded into a six. Some plain white paper card. I've used some slightly thicker card this time because I find it wrinkles less when you glue it down. And then if you have it, some pretty paper. Now I've got a whole set of pretty paper here. I know that makes me very lucky. Um, but of course you can use washi tape, pens, pencils, whatever you've got. So I'm going to put this to the side and we'll come back to that in a minute. First, we're going to create our basic shape. So this is an A6 card that fits exactly in, but I want to have a little border because I think that looks nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my card, put it over the top. Let's see where I did my cutting the first time around. Uh, I think I cut that side and that side. And I'm going to just take it at roughly a centimeter away, do it as neat as you can from the edge. So it's about a centimeter on that side, maybe a bit lower here. And then when you cut this, it will actually be half a centimetre from the edge. I'll show you what I mean. <clears throat> and I, maybe I did this a bit on the small side, but I don't think it matters too much. There we go. Let's have a look. So when you fold it round, Oh, actually, that looks quite nice. You've got a nice blue border, yeah? So the next thing is you're going to fold this in half like this. And then if I had my ruler, which I can't find, I would use my ruler at this point, but I can't find it. So when you're doing your um, popping up, it's a good rule of thumb to not cut further than half, well, certainly half of the blue card. So on my one, I'd say up to about here is good and not further. If you go further, your pop-up will stick out. Maybe I'll do it there just to be safe. So I'm going to do the bottom of my cake. will go no further, you know, about this side. Now I'm going to have my first piece of my cake. Now I'm totally just roughly <laughs> guessing it. Like, you know, I like to sort of wing it and make it up as I go along. But you could measure this all out first as well. Now I want my second slice or my second tier to be about a centimetre in. So I'm going to go up to about here. And again, it's not an exact size. And then my last tier of the cake to about here. And even though I haven't measured it out, I've got a nice little big, bigger bit here, which is good because I want the candles to go there. <clears throat> so I've got my three tiers. Now you fold this over like so, fold this one over, get them as straight as you can, and the final one, fold them up again, open it, and this time you want to bring the crease out. So bring the crease out and out again. So. Again, let's just get those creases really neat. Here we go. And the crease we did earlier just helps, even though we did it in the opposite direction, just helps get it all into place. Now we check that our cake doesn't poke out. And look, it just, just does it. So I should have done it a tiny bit smaller, okay? I think I get away with this. So my cake is gonna peep out, but you know what? I think we're okay. But that's the thing I was saying about it not going too far. So look, already we've got this beautiful cake shape. Doesn't that look great? Now all you need to do is basically is decorate it. So I'm gonna decorate it separately on here first because then if I make any mistakes and I haven't stuck it on this yet, it doesn't matter so much because I can um, you know, start again. <clears throat> so the first thing I wanna do is I want to add some color to my cake layers. So I'm gonna pick some of my lovely sprinkles. So I've got these sprinkles. I'm just going to cut a piece out. Normally I'd measure it out all out first. So I've got 
got my tears. So the main thing I want to do now, see, is to, oh, I just cut it big enough. Phew, <laughs> that's the one I wanted down here. Now what I'm gonna do is, I want each layer to peep out over the top slightly. And that way it will just make it look, you know, like the cakes kind of nestled within each other. So I've got my bottom one, I've got my top one. Again, if you have a ruler, that would be really handy at this point. Just a tiny bit and a tiny bit. looks great already I think let's glue them down now make sure you don't put glue at the very top just at the, the bottom parts you can also just add some here maybe just to make sure it's extra neat And the great thing is, because this is cardboard, you won't get any wrinkles. But like I say, you can decorate with washi tapes, you can use pencils, pens. You know, I'm just kind of adding a little bit for you, just sort of get to give you choices. And I know I do have this very pretty paper and I do appreciate that not everyone has as much paper as I do. Right, now let's get those folds in. And make sure it's all glued down nicely. Let's see. Oh look, isn't that adorable? Now our cake needs some candles. Now uh, let's see what colour we'll use for that. I, I actually want plain paper to be honest for the candles so, but, I, but I do also want card so I might just go and create some little red um, strips out of this one not too bright because I don't want to distract too much from the um, patterns on there and you, you know sometimes you can have too much pattern so I'm going to just cut a strip lots of little candles and then we're going to start sticking those on and I'll just speed up the video for that So this is just paper. I'm going to cut lots of little flames at the same time. I'm not sure yet how many we'll need. I'm thinking 12 in total, but let's see. Let's do that again. I think they're too big. And then I'm going to add some for the top. Now with the top ones we have to make sure that they don't peek out too much. What do you think? Isn't that lovely? So just flatten it all, make sure it all sticks nicely. 
and now we're going to stick it onto our card. And the easiest way to do that is just to close it, put glue all over. My ring has moved. I'm going to fold it again, make sure it's right at the edge. Open it. down and like I said slightly peeking out so I made a slight mistake when I did that first cut oopsie but uh, that's why you watch my channel to learn from my mistakes and here we go let's have a look wow isn't that a nice pop-up birthday card or you could use it as a celebration or a wedding you know using different colors and actually I think that was pretty easy don't you now you could also add to your birthday card, put it in your envelope. This is a little birthday cake bookmark corner that you might have seen here on the channel before. Do check it out. And uh, yeah, you can combine the two and I think that would make a really nice little gift for somebody. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And of course, we'd love to see you here again soon. Bye.